Hi kids, today our topic of discussion is pressure in fluids and atmospheric pressure. Today we will discuss about thrust, pressure, unit of pressure, factors affecting pressure and how can you increase and decrease pressure. So let's get started. Now thrust, pressure to understand thrust is very important. First thing, suppose a surface is, okay? आप इस सरफेस पे एक फोर्स लगा रहे हो आप इस डायरेक्शन पे फोर्स लगा सकते हो सपोज F, सो द एंगल विच द सरफेस मेक्स विद द फोर्स अप्लाइड इज सपोज थीटा एंड अगर ये फोर्स आप इस तरह इस सरफेस पे लगा रहे हो कि ये एंगल जो है 90 डिग्री हो जाए विद द फोर्स एक्ट परपेंडिकुलर टू द सर्फेस देन दिस फोर्स इज नोन एज थ्रस्ट Which means the definition of thrust is what? Thrust को हम लोग define कर सकते हैं the force acting perpendicular perpendicular to a surface that is known as thrust. अब क्योंकि ये force है thrust is the force only which acts perpendicular over here. This is not your thrust because The angle is not ninety. This is not equal to ninety. Okay. So, इसका अगर हम SI unit कहते हैं, तो SI unit of thrust will be newton, isn't it? And the CGS unit will be dyne. If you talk about the gravitational unit, gravitational unit. then it will be kgf and gram force and you know 1 kgf is nothing but 9.8 newton and 1 gram force is nothing but 980 dyne is this clear so the unit for thrust is same as the force now look carefully the effect of thrust the effect of thrust depends on area is kya kya matlab hai for example suppose aap ek jagah hai jo sandy hai aap wahan pe khade hue ho so agar aap khade hue ho to aapka ek body ka weight hai you know jo us surface pe act kar raha hai that is perpendicular agar koi bhi body agar ek surface pe rakha hua hai तो उसका एक वेट होता है जो डाउनवर्ड एक्ट करता है पॉपेंडिकुलर टू द सरफेस और उसको हम लोग थ्रस्ट कह सकते हैं यू नो सो मेन यू आर स्टैंडिंग ऑन द सैंडी सरफेस यू आर अप्लाइंग अ थ्रस्ट ऑन द सैंड और आपके पैर क्या होंगे सिंक होंगे बट वही अगर आप लाइड ऑन कर जाते हो आप लेट जाते हो तो आपका बॉडी सिंक नहीं करता है सो एफेक्ट ऑफ थ्रस्ट डिपेंड्स ऑन द एरिया मतलब अगर एरिया कम है जब आप खड़े हुए थे तो आप उसमें क्या कर रहे थे यू आर सिंकिंग सो थ्रस्ट का वहां पे इफेक्ट दिख रहा था व्हेन यू लाई डाउन आपने एरिया को इंक्रीज कर दिया तो थ्रस्ट का उतना इफेक्ट नहीं दिखा एंड दिस थ्रस्ट पर यूनिट एरिया पर यूनिट एरिया इज नथिंग बट प्रेशर सो वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रेशर Pressure is thrust per unit area. This is the simple definition of pressure. Now remember this thing: pressure is a scalar quantity. While thrust we know this is a vector quantity because force we know force is a vector quantity. Now we'll talk about the unit of pressure. First, let us talk about the SI unit. Now, the SI unit of pressure is Pascal, and one Pascal is equal to see pressure is thrust by area. Thrust the SI unit is Newton, one Newton by area in SI unit is you know meter square. So we can define one Pascal as when a force of one Newton. Acts perpendicular to a surface of area one meter square. Then the pressure develop. 
is one pascal. One pascal is nothing but one newton per meter square. Clear? Now, when you talk about the CGS unit, the CGS unit is dime per centimeter square. Is it clear? Now, there's a relation between one pascal and dime per centimeter square. We know, just look over here. One pascal is nothing but one newton by one meter square. Now, one newton, we have already done, is 10 to the power 5 dime. And one meter square, if you write in centimeter square, that's 10 to the power 4 centimeter square. Which means one pascal is nothing but 10 dime per centimeter square. So this is the SI unit. Clear? Now let us see some other units in which pressure is expressed. Now the other unit to measure pressure is bar, where one bar is equal to 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square. There is millibar, where one millibar is equal to 10 to the power 2 newton per meter square. And these are the units to measure atmospheric pressure. So atmospheric pressure, we know, bar, millibar, tor, atmosphere, yes, we measure it. We will see that. Atmospheric pressure. Now, first of all, atmospheric pressure hai kya? Now, we know, the earth is surrounded by a layer of air. So the pressure exerted by this layer of air on the surface of earth is known as atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure. Am I clear? And atmospheric pressure is measured with respect to the height, height of the mercury column in a barometer, in a barometer at sea level at sea level of course at normal pressure at normal temperature and pressure we are talking about we can look at this barometer ke jab baat karte hain, a device used to measure atmospheric pressure Kaisa hota hai? you have a trough you know this is mercury hai. Hg. that's mercury now you take a tube test tube of Height suppose 1 meter, fill it with mercury, mercury se do, and keep it upside down, you know, in the trough, filled with mercury. So this is also filled with mercury, okay. Now, there is an atmospheric pressure which acts on this surface. After some time, we will see that the mercury level in the tube falls to the height of 76 centimeter. The total height is 1 meter. So the atmospheric pressure is also measured with respect to the height, barometric height, which is 76 centimeter. And this is known as 1 atmosphere, which is equal to 0 0.76 meter of mercury. Am I clear? Which when converted to Pascal is 1.013 yes multiplied by 10 to the power 5 Pascal so one atmosphere is also a unit of pressure to measure atmospheric pressure okay and one atmosphere is 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 Pascal so look over here we can say that 1 bar is 10 power 5 newton per meter square. So you can see 1 atmosphere is equal to 1.013. Instead of this, I can write bar. So somewhere 1 atmosphere and 1 bar are equal. There's other unit also tor. And 1 tor is equal to 1 mm of mercury. And 1 atmosphere is equal to 760 tor. So tor atmosphere, bar, millibar, these are all used to measure atmospheric pressure. 
Okay. Now let us see what are the factors on which pressure depends. On which pressure depends. So, हमारे पास pressure का formula है. Pressure क्या होता है? Thrust by area. So, जाहिर सी बात है. Pressure depends on thrust, which is acting on the surface. You know, and the area on which it is acting. एक एग्जाम्पल लेते हैं सपोज एक ब्रिक लिया मैंने यू नो जिसका वेट है सपोज फोर के जी है एंड डायमेंशन इज सपोज फॉर ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर इंटू टेन सेंटीमीटर इंटू फाइव सेंटीमीटर लेंथ ब्रेथ हाइट तो सपोज उसको मैं प्लेस कर रहा हूं इन सच अ मैनर रुको भैया कि उसका जो लॉन्गेस्ट साइड है वो वर्टिकल है ठीक है कुछ इस प्रकार इसको मैंने ऐसे प्लेस किया यू नो द लॉन्गेस्ट साइड इज ट्वेंटी देन दिस इज फाइव एंड दिस इज टेन इन दिस केस द एरिया इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद द सरफेस यू नो इज फाइव इंटू टेन सिक्स सेंटीमीटर दस फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर वेट इज दिस सो प्रेशर विल बी वेट इज अस्ट ओनली ओवर इयर विच एक्ट नॉर्मली सो प्रेशर इज फोर बाई फिफ्टी के जी एफ पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर सो पी वन इज वॉट दिस इज टू बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव के जी एफ पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर नो द सेम ब्रिक इफ आई प्लेस With the you know shortest side as the vertical side you know see मैंने इसको ऐसे रखा है अभी क्या क्या है this is the shortest side which is फाइव सेंटीमीटर this is टेन सेंटीमीटर this is ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर clear ना इस case में second case में area क्या होगा area in contact Twenty into this is ten, isn't it? So that's twenty into ten centimeter square, which is two hundred centimeter square. Am I clear? Or pressure? What will be P two? Body the same. Weight is that only four pi two hundred kgf per centimeter square. So, if you find the ratio P one by P two, that's two by twenty five divided by four by two hundred. Finding the ratio, I'm seeing how the pressure change. You know, so that is two by twenty five into two hundred by four. Two one times, two two times. This is eight times. This is four, which means P one equals to four times P two, which means again P two is P one by four, which means, look over here. If you increase the area, so carefully, the pressure got decreased because in this case the pressure P one is four times P two. So what happens if you increase the area of contact? You know, on which the force is applied or thrust is applied, then the pressure. If you increase the area, the pressure decreases. Increasing the area decreases your pressure, and this is the reason why foundation of building, foundations of buildings are made wide, are made wide. What chhoda hota hai foundation of the building, you know, when the building is constructed, because इससे क्या होता है? You are increasing the area, और अगर आप area कर increase करते हो, so the pressure applied by the building on the ground will be less. Is it clear or not? Now, so how can you decrease the pressure by increasing the area? Similarly, how can you increase the pressure? Simple sa logic hai by decreasing the area. So if you decrease the area, the pressure will be more. See, P one is four times P two. Over here the area was less. Over here the area is more. That is the reason why you can say that nails have pointed in. Nails have 
pointed ends why because when you take a nail like this if the end is pointed area decreases okay so the pressure increases which means even with a less effort the pressure will be more am i clear so just remember if you want to decrease the pressure just increase the area and if you want to increase the pressure just in decrease the area so in this video keep it till here in the next video we see the next part of it till then take care